just as a reminder um, and, and an assumption that I'll make, but I do believe that just about every city, especially our size, has a threat assessment team. And in particular to Riverside, a few years ago, we had an issue in this very room that almost cost the lives of city council members uh, and others. And so um, we can definitely provide some more feedback and information on that. Vivian Moreno followed by Rachel Sterling. Good afternoon, um, Mayor, City Council. Um, I'm here today because um, I was reviewing last week's City Council tape. And um, I was really upset about Mike Subaru and Steve Adams' comment last week. And so I felt I really needed to bring those to this dais today. And I was the one who totally disagreed with your comments, Mr. Subaru. I do believe we have a new city council in place. I do believe we have a new uh, city hall. I believe there is change taking place. Okay, but is that change in the right direction? We don't know yet because we have an interim city manager that is gonna be gone pretty soon. And I believe maybe your comments were because you kind of maybe made a deal, okay? Because I cannot believe that you would address the public in this way. So Jason brings up the threat assessment team. So how many times would it be that he could bring that issue forward before it's kicking and screaming and it's setting the city back? Okay, let me, let me tell you something. We've been here for a long time. It took us five years to bring one invoice to, from Steve Adams to the Finance Committee. It took 11 years to bring Ag Park here to finally get a dialogue. So when we go back and we're standing here kicking and screaming and talking, it's because we have had no other recourse. And we are going to continue. And let me tell you, Mr. Subaru, it will be us to decide when that will stop. And we will stop when we can believe, when we can trust, when we know that the city is in moving in the right direction. Some of the things you said were, were unbelievable. I couldn't even believe it. And let me tell you one more thing before I have to go here. That same city council meeting, I have never heard a city councilman sitting up there calling part of the public disgusting, okay? I, I'm sure all of you heard it. Steve Adams referred to one of the public as disgusting. I don't think I've ever heard that. So is that moving in the right change? Is that moving in the right direction that now we're calling each other names? Thank you very much.